who are the people saying that men are not useful? Oh, well, it's it's they're not. Well, that just happened to be what Anna Navarro said specifically. But, but the, you the, said I, that the that's ideology a who says the, the ideology is that men represent the remnant of a tyrannical patriarchy. And by oh default, the usefulness of men is in question at a societal wide basis. OK, I don't want to use all our time on this, but it sounds like we're not going to get any more examples. And the audience can kind of judge that for themselves. On David Pakman's show, former NBA player Royce White, who was a standout at Iowa State, has received the MAGA endorsements and is running to unseat Amy Klobuchar. There are fundamental rights of being an American citizen, one of which has always been the presumption of innocence, oh, number boy. one. So there is there is complete merit to bring it into question when we talk about American citizenship. Royce, but, you uh, understand again, that when police again, investigate crimes, they investigate crimes, but that doesn't take away the presumption of innocence in a court of law. Like, this is basic legal stuff, Roy. This is who the GOP is sending, the Family Matters Party, to win a Senate seat. It's madness, and this interview would only get worse. When you assume that all women are telling the truth or that we should believe all women on face value, by default— I don't know anyone who has by said that. The whole movement of the—the the whole Me Too movement was based on this idea that believe all women. That's your assertion. I don't believe that to be true. Like, honestly, I don't know how Pac-Man kept it together. It right. was recently revealed you spent campaign donations at a strip <laughs> club. Is that true? That's not true. Who didn't do the filing properly? Um, whoever was in charge of the filing. And who was that? Yeah, I know who they are. Do you want me to list the entire yeah. list of people who worked on it? Yeah. So you have time for me to go through a list of people who worked on the filing, but you don't have time to talk about the details of the political issues you want to well, discuss? Well, how many people is it? Give me a break. Who do you think you, who do you people think you're fooling? So in the span of one clip, White is short, continues trying to railroad Pacman, then refuses to allow another question to be asked because it may get him caught up in a bind, a pure Trumpian tactic. That's you white, liber you so white liberals, Royce, hold you on white second. liberals, hold on you white second, liberals Royce. hate when black men vote Republican. You hate when black men say that they like being American citizens. You hate when black men say that we want to have a border. You hate when black men say stop sending our money to the Ukraine. And you go to the WWE politics to hold try second, and defend Royce. your latent racism. That's hold what it is. Hold on a second, is. Royce. Hold on a second, Royce. Aren't you against identity politics? Absolutely. So what are you talking about white liberals for, especially when Wait, what do you I'm mean? a Hispanic Wait. Jewish immigrant from Argentina? Yeah, right. But you have a white liberal ideology. Check out the full clip in the description box below. I could not believe what I watched, but that's the basis for everything within the MAGA movement. On Royce White, there is a plethora of information to tell the story of who he is as a person. So let's delve in, shall we? Via Media Matters, he's pushed far-right conspiracy theories, including about the hammer attacker on Paul Pelosi, the tragic Maui wildfires, and of course, the 2020 election. He is staunchly anti-gay rights, writing, the LGBTQ movement is the brainchild of radical feminists and their cucked men, at least from a political standpoint. He has claimed that former pro basketball player Charles Barkley was being influenced by a Jewish cabal, so he's also anti-Semitic. When he sees criticisms, he replies with the anti-LGBTQ plus slur in his tweets, and this has happened over and over and over again. He also used the R word in a tweet. Cool. And he called New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and CNN's Caitlin Collins a see you next Tuesday. The same folks who demand no sports in politics support this guy who wrote Trump won while he suited up for a game in Ice Cube's The Big Three. He put that message on the side of his head. White previously ran for Minnesota's 5th Congressional District, as a very far-right Republican, along with Steve Bannon's support, and it did not lead to a W. In this recent heel turn, White, who championed the George Floyd protests and the BLM movement, said it, quote, prefers black men to be dead, gay, sold out, or on the wrong end of sexual harassment or Me Too allegations. Oof. Mother Jones would write, his current politics could be described as tinfoil hat populism. He basically says the Dems, Bill Gates, there's another favorite, the World Economic Forum, 
President Xi from China, the CCP, non-MAGA Republicans, George Soros, Millennial Purple. I mean, like, (laughs) he's a cartoon character. Millennial purple-haired white liberal women, the Church of LGBTQ, the NBA, and various government agencies all act on behalf of the same global corporate community. I understand that there are, there's been an evolution, and this is always going to happen in politics. But the Minnesota GOP is really telling me that this is the best that they have. A guy who has to cling to globalism, which is just an affront for Judaism. The NBA, all right, President Xi, purple-haired liberal women, and more. And that's who they support. I know the two-party system is broken, but our politics are fundamentally castrated at this point. And by the way, fun fact, the outlet would report that Steve Bannon met Royce White through the big three. Wow. The no politics in sports crowd are awfully silent on this one as well. By the way, if you want to check it out on demand, we went over the intersection of Steve Bannon, Ice Cube, and the Big Three. So search that up. More. This is a guy who said in an interview previously with the nation's Dave Zirin that Donald Trump is a fool who he would never sit at a lunch table with. My, how the turntables have turned. One local activist group, which has organized an event with Royce and a foundation named 10K, wrote to Mother Jones, quote, Unfortunately, we as an organization have nothing positive to say about Royce. There's been a lot of harm caused by his actions, including during the protests when he went after black women. But that's neither here nor there, of course, for the Minnesota GOP. Sadly and depressingly, Mother Jones would catch up with Royce's grandfather, Frank White. And here's what he said. I'm proud of my grandson, but do I agree with this politics? No. He told me, hey, Grandpa, I'm going to be on Steve Bannon's pod. I said, do you know who he is? And then when the writer called Frank for a follow-up, Bannon had just been found guilty of contempt of Congress. Frank said he had spoken to Royce White and told him, your guy Steve Bannon is probably going to go to jail, close quote. There's no way I can support my grandson supporting the GOP and, in essence, Trump, Frank says. This is a guy who wants to be a dictator. You're a person of color. Do you think you fit in his plans? He would then go on to say, I wish Royce would turn the page because he has the heart to change people's lives, if it was in a different fashion. He then reflected on the effects of his new celebrity political allegiances, his crusade, his talented ways, and yet sometimes troubled grandson. Quote, I do fear that it's going to have an impact on his life different from what he might believe. In addition, per the Daily Beast, they would review Royce White's 2022 primary campaign reports and found numerous items that boggled legal experts. The unusual expenses include a total of more than $100,000 in mysterious wire transfers. Huh? And checks reported as paid to the campaign, hefty tabs at spicy uh, night spots, getaways at posh hotels in at least seven states, thousands of dollars in limo services, unexplained cash withdrawals, eye-popping purchases, from sporting goods stores, clothing, Guitar Center, and the Dribble Up Smart Basketball Training app that White himself admitted might be personal use. Brendan Fisher, a specialist in campaign finance law and deputy director of Document, and said, we're not talking about small stuff. This takes us well outside the realm of FEC fines. This looks a lot like the kind of thing that people go to jail for. The Daily Beast would even quip in their piece that Royce White may have outdone former New York congressman and disgraced politician George Santos. 